There's a section of our city that don't look very pretty. It's over on the other side of town. Not many of the men and not any of the ladies would ever let you know they've been around. It's the talk of all the sisters, but they speak of it in whispers, and every now and then they all kneel down. Just to ask the Lord above to exercise his wondrous love and make a lady out of Elsie Brown. But nobody ever bothered to tell her about the Father, and no one told her of his saving grace. They just prayed a little harder and stayed back a little farther from what they all call Miss Elsie's play. They had heard so many times about the men who stand in line waiting to get into Elsie's place. They thought maybe if the preacher tried hard that he might reach her, so they asked him if he'd go there in haste. But he was getting older and not getting any bolder. To be safe, he took the long way round. On the way, he asked the master if he'd work a little faster and send conviction on Miss Elsie Brown. But nobody ever bothered to tell her about the father, and no one told her of his saving grace. They just prayed a little harder and stayed back a little farther from what they all call Miss Elsie's play. When the preacher finally made it, but he sure did feel degraded, he knocked and he opened up the door. When he took a step inside, he forgot his pious pride. He wished that he had come here long before. Far over in the corner was a simple wooden coffin, and several of the men were standing round. As the preacher stood in line, it was burning in his mind that death had beat him to Miss Elsie Brown. But nobody ever bothered to tell her about the father, and no one told her of his saving grace. They just prayed a little harder and stayed back a little farther from what they all call Miss Elsie's place.